Good morning. We are in Epcot. We came in through the International Gateway. We had a breakfast reservation at the Yacht Club. So we had breakfast at Ale and Compass restaurant. We each had the kids scrambled eggs. Something to note, I think this is only at like a sit down restaurant. If, you, if you're an adult and you order a kid, kid's meal, which is totally allowed, it does not come with a drink. I didn't realize that. And so we got the bottles of water and then we were charged $2.50 for tiny bottles of water. To so each bottle. yes. So we're going to try this again later for quick service and see if the drink is included, which I would imagine because I don't know that you're an adult. So anyway, we are going to hop all the way over to Guardians because we were able to get a, um, a virtual queue and we bought the Lightning Lane and they're pretty much back to back. And then I got my DOS for Remy's. So then we're gonna come back over. We are doing the Festival of the Arts um, paintings. So it is Figment's Brush with the Masters. So we're gonna do this. A little scavenger hunt. Yeah, a little scavenger, we love scavenger hunts. Um, oh, also, we parked at Yacht Club and we came in that way. It is kind of frowned upon, but we also have a lunch reservation at Beach Club. So we figured it was okay. So anyway, that's our plan for today and we'll take you along. All right, y'all, we just finished. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. We did it twice back to back. The first song we got was Disco Inferno. The second song we got was One Way or Another. Um, both songs were great. And it was, I, I didn't watch any videos. All I knew was that it like spun around and to get row one. Um, I heard row one and row nine are the most intense and I can attest that row one is very intense. So if you don't want it as intense, maybe get one of the middle ones. And I can see how row nine can be intense. It is like Space Mountain on steroids. It is the, like, I, I don't even know how to describe it. How do you describe it? It's like Space Mountain meets. I don't know that there's a ride like it. I mean, it's so unique. We've ridden the new Guardians of the Galaxy ride at California Adventure, the new one, uh, where they redid re the Tower of Terror. It's yeah. kind of like a cross between that and uh, Space Mountain, and then like... That, because it just has like the Guardians. Mad teacups, because you're spinning around everywhere. Okay, there you go. So it's like Mad Teacups in the Dark Space Mountain style with Guardians of the Galaxy and music. Um, I will say that it's really hard to hear like what they're saying and the storyline of it because the music is so loud. Um, so, but it was so intense. I will say that if you get um, motion sickness, this may not be the ride for you or you may want to take Dramamine. I took Dramamine beforehand and I think that was really smart. Um, but if like you get motion sickness on Space Mountain, I don't think this might be best ride for you. We're gonna go explore around the World Showcase and eat our way around, see if we can't find figment in those paintings, and we'll check in a little later. <laughs> oh, 
All right, friends, we're back. We took a little break and we went over to the beach club and we ate at the elusive beaches and cream. We just had dessert. We got kind of a classic. Um, it's called the old fashioned Sunday and we went very classic. We just got two scoops of vanilla, hot fudge, almonds, whipped cream and a cherry. We did ask for extra almonds and it was delicious. So let me know down in the comments if you ever had a reservation at Beaches and Cream. Do you wanna go there? Do you think it's hyped up? Let me know. Um, and if you want to go there, but you just can't seem to get a reservation, next door is Beaches and Cream to go. So they don't have the full menu there, but you can get a few things and at least you can get a little taste of it until you're able to get a reservation. That also <laughs> is where, for those of you that uh, partake in a little bit of alcohol, that is where they have some alcoholic beverages like getting a Guinness flow and a couple other things. So now we're on our way back into Epcot. We're gonna do Remy's and we're gonna try to finish out this figment painting expedition that we're on. We're, we're pretty good, we're pretty good. We're finding most of them. We, we didn't find Canada when we looked, but not all of Canada was open. So, so far we found all of them that we've looked for other than that one in Canada. And then we're gonna head up, we're gonna ride a couple of rides. Um, so we'll check back in with you later. Okay, so we are in the French Pavilion here in Epcot, and I said that to two different cast members. One in the Boulangerie, which is the bakery, and one into um, a shop to get a cute little dress for my three-year-old. And they both <laughs> apparently thought that I spoke fluent French, which we are learning French because next year we're going to Paris. And for me, it's important to have the proper accent, so I really try to perfect that. And apparently, I said bonjour with the correct accent, and they both started speaking all of the other things to me, and I just looked at them like, I'm sorry, what? And so when the second lady did it, I said, do you think I speak fluent French? And she goes, oh, you don't? And I said, no. So apparently, I can uh, pass it off. John says that's a little dangerous, because now <laughs> I'm gonna get stuck into these conversations where I have no idea what's being spoken to me. And then I have to tell them, I don't know what you're saying. But to be honest, that's not much different than what happens to you anyways, because you don't know how to extricate yourself from uncomfortable conversations. That's so true. I get stuck into very awkward conversations with people because they don't know how to just say, okay, bye. Or just Irish goodbye, which is what I do. Hi friends. So we just left Epcot. We're about to park hop over to Animal Kingdom do a couple of rides and then we have a dinner reservation at Topolino's Terrace at Riviera for dinner, a late dinner. Something funny really, <laughs> so funny happened. We were on our way to go ride Soren and Test Track and we were right by Pop Eats and we got stopped by this couple and they asked if we had plans tonight. They're DVC members and they are having a DVC member only after hours event. And so they asked if we wanted to join and John was like, well, what's the catch? She's like, no catch. You just have to walk with us over to the thing. It opens in one minute and then they'll scan our band. You get your wristband and 
your snack certificates and that's it. That's what we did. We've got our wristbands for tonight. It's an after hours event. Like Guardians is open, Test Track Remy's. Um, we're full run of the park from 10 full run of the park from 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. We were not planning on closing down the park. But here we go. You so don't turn down these kind of opportunities. No, you don't turn them down. So we are gonna go ahead and we're gonna make the most of it. Maybe we'll go back to the room and just have a breather after Animal Kingdom before we go to the Riviera, freshen up a bit. We are so excited. Are you a DVC member? If this video has been helpful, if you are liking this vlog, give that like button a big thumbs up. It helps the channel. It lets me know that you like this kind of content. Let me know what other things you would like me to cover. Good evening. We are back at the resort. Um, we went and hopped over to Animal Kingdom. We rode. Um, sorry, I'm so tired. <laughs> it's only like nine o'clock, and I am exhausted, y'all. Um, okay, we rode Expedition Everest, Navi River Journey, and Flight of Passage. I have to say, hands down, Pandora is my favorite area to be. So I think tomorrow after Hollywood Studios, we're gonna hop over there and just kind of leisurely spend some time there. We decided to not go to the um, after hours event for the DVC members that we got invited to. We got back to our resort and we were gonna change shoes and um, just kind of freshen up. And we are both just so tired. We sat down to grab a bite to eat and basically just like don't want to get up <laughs> so we're just gonna listen to our bodies and um you know because we still have a full day tomorrow and then we fly home on friday and have to be parents again like you know so life continues on um it's not all just disney so i'll see you tomorrow bye guys